All right, popped blood vessel check. 48 hours later. Not as bad. All the blood went to his penis. <laughs> Go check it out. Only Zach.com exclusive content. One day. Flamingo! Good. Yeah, it's the runway. And we're clearing some space out over here so we can run down it. But we can start in here. So, two days later, and we're looking at this. How many square feet is 4, this? 4,000. 4,000. Dude. My man's living the dream, dude. Single arm, double carries. I did a farm once. Call me farmers. Warm up. Warm it up. So it looks like a normal hey, weight. Good to see you. Let me kiss your camera with Oh, it's me. Yeah, you just have to. Not too much. The Hobbit. Just have to and I am the Hobbit. It doesn't work. It's something like Liam Baggins. So many goddamn cameras. Yeah. There we go. Come on. Nice and steady. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Keep holding. Keep holding. Starting to slip out my wrist. This strap was going. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. That's it. Yeah, this nice strap. Dude. I want to try the bigger cloth straps. Yeah, those are tough. Are they weighting straps? That's not bad, yeah. Yeah, no bueno. All right, so that was pretty crazy. I did uh, 245 kg uh, farmer's carry down this. Holy shit. Wait, did... What? <laughs> to be able to develop maximum tension because the goal is if you can keep your lats engaged if you can keep your upper back engaged ideally in a low bar squat you want that bar resting on your upper back musculature you don't want it you know when your elbows are up your lats aren't engaged like try going like this and engaging your lats you can't do it because they're lengthened so what you have to do is you have to pinch your shoulders back like you're doing a row elbows down and from there I'm engaging the lat, and mm -hmm. then when, where the bar is sitting is essentially on my rear delt and on my lat. And your lats tie in diagonally across your lower back, but it's also really three or four of the lumbar fascia, and it ties in to each loop like this. So when you tighten the lats, it adds more tension and rigidity to your, to your spine and your lower back. And you, you like, because you could take your your upper back and like pull it really close together, and now you don't have a pulled down core. Is what I'm saying. You have it's like two contrasting things. So you gotta get under. It's too high for you. I'm pinching back, but then also pulling down. Yeah. What? Yeah. People love to separate low bar and high bar as if they're so vastly different. Like literally watching you from the front, all I say is like, that's a good squat. You're not trying to like compete. You're not trying to minimize range of motion and try to like do weird shit. Like it just, it's a squat. Well, like, just, they're both accessory exercises. Yeah. One's a more quad dominant accessory exercise. One's more hip, hamstring, glute, back dominant. But like even still, like you're using your quads. Yeah. I mean, yeah. listen, you're, you're going to use, just like in high bar, you still use your abs. Yeah. yeah. Just use it a little less. I think that the people bit. making this big distinction about like, oh, well, you squat low bar, therefore X. Well, you squat high bar, therefore Y. Like they're both a squat. It's they're both like a same, slightly yeah. different position in your back and the musculature changes, yeah. but like... It's the, the same people the same. who go to a competition and complain that they don't have the right bar that they have. Right, yeah. yeah. Or complain about it. Here. 
Yep. Squeeze those elbows down. There you go. Squeeze those lats. Nice. Good. That's perfect. Extremely deep. You yeah. should do that high bar, like get your lats or your your shoulder blades here, here, yeah. and hang on your lats. The difference here is like this thing is literally like pushing your lats down. Yeah. Because it's, it's like because it's arc bar, so it sits right across. Yeah. The like, and it it just sits on you, yep. and then Perfectly. you just feel like a piston when you get it right. Yeah. So it's nice. Uh, definitely like definitely just a relief. Sometimes I unrack high bar squats and like fuck. you're like fuck I don't want to do this. Yeah, it's like, like you're getting good knee flexion there. You know that to me that's a distinction that like people like to think of. So they think low bar, they just like think no knees, well, like some, afraid of bending your knees. I think some people it's not advantageous to do that, but the way that my body squats, it's just like. It's very natural, and even in flats like this, yeah. you know, I still push a little bit of knee flexion. It's not necessarily knees over the toes, but I'm not only recruiting. I think I have like a mid-bar squat, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I do, maybe higher than yours a little bit. Yeah, because I'm but, very upright, even in my heaviest squats yeah. of all time. Chad, like, dude, Chad, uh, he's quad dom. I mean, he's, Chad has this thing where he thinks the best squatters, the best raw squatters in the world, or have insane quads. Yeah, you want, a, you want a great example? Andre Milanichev. Yeah. Look at that guy. And he's upright? He's very upright. Right. And check. Up. Perfect. Same thing. Up. Good. Up. Very good. Two more. Up. All right, last one. Same thing. Yeah, it's like you just automatically notice more um, activation when you when one you thing, stop like that. You're just less ballistic. The one thing I don't like about weightlifting, like weight, the way weight, a lot of weightlifting squats, is the ballistic nature of bottoming out. And actually, I think it's extremely detrimental to the patella tendon and musculature around the knee joint. There's no reason to do it. Think about it like this: you're gonna bottom out in a clean, so don't do it in a squat. Right. Like, Practice, use the squat to like just build the muscle and like maybe get Because you'll be stronger. fine. You'll be fine coming out of the bottom position of a clean. If you're cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't need to like. You don't need you to don't do need, it on a back squat. You know what? But it's like, there's this real weird thing where people get, people get brownie points on the internet for depth beliefs, right? So like people want to criticize other people constantly for like, you're not going deep enough. And it's like, no, that. Thanks for nothing, Clarence. Yeah. That's your fault. Hey, buddy. Love you lots. You squat insanely deep. You can squat less less deep. Put some knee wraps on, bro. <laughs> Good. There you go. That's that's an egregious. I'm very hungry. When I'm at John's, I always eat well. Also, this stuff tastes so good. I can't focus. There we go. All right, just Eat. finished eating and chilling. I got a Grip Genie shirt on. Everyone is. Struggle. Carving up, but look at this station we got going here. Oh, yeah. Can you scoop me, Daddy? I'm just going to end it with that. Oh. <laughs> I got you. So, so like, 
everyone said there's a lot of people that say uh, triple extension is exactly like a backflip. That's it's yes and no, right? So like the way that they think is like in a backflip, you're supposed to really extend your hips and lean back, and then they compare that to a snatch. When in reality, they're similar in the sense that you don't want your hips to travel forward. You don't want your head to go back. In the snatch, you want to come up and almost pin your chin down when you come up so you can keep the bar close and you have leverage. It's exactly the same in the in the backflip. So Tom. Okay, yeah. So he right. just immediately throws his head back. Yeah. And then the, the good one, one, he keeps his chin tucked and he goes up. And he just goes up. Vertical backflip possible. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> I missed yep. it. Yep. Wow, that was high. That was good. Holy shit. 400? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. 420 pounds. 420 pounds. Let's go! This just randomly happened. It, around some hay and a large pit. <laughs> what if there were snakes in this pit? <laughs> this looks so ridiculous. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Uh, now move, move! Let's go! Wait, 420? Yeah, man. Are you Come fucking? On, is that a joke? It's uh, I mean the dude, same that's two hundred. That's almost a 200 kilo deadlift yeah. in the most awkward position. Yeah. You quit your job, and I started watching after that video because that was like somewhat viral for you. I think you had a higher view. Views yeah, there. things were working out well. And. And you decided to pursue this crazy thing, this yeah. fitness, you know, getting stronger, health, mm -hmm. fitness, whatever. And now you're at a different stage where you're, you're like, you had a plan to create, you know, a 4,000 foot, 4,000 square foot compound, yeah. strongman walkway, like. It's a playground, man. Yeah. It's, it's an adult polyathlete playground. And it's, it's like, do you feel like you're at the stage where not, you're not retiring, but you're doing what it is that you wanted to or I've like, always been doing what I wanted to do it's just another step you know wherever you are in the spectrum of oh you know I'm right here at this stage here at this stage this stage it all needs to be like this continuous thing it's never a purgatory like oh I have to you know three years later I'll be able to actually experience what it is I want to experience I've been experiencing what I wanted to experience the whole time in yeah. just every way I could possible at every stage and it's just it's growth that's what happens life is about growth life yeah. is a growth process it's just about taking it to the next level it doesn't mean you're not appreciative of what you have at the time it doesn't mean you're dissatisfied and you're working out of an area or a, a place where you're where you don't feel like you have enough i feel abundance yeah and the and the best way to express that is just to continue to to grow yeah that's it man and life got... is growth so this is just the next step and yeah. i don't know what the next step after that is but the reason i can't think of that is because this is such a big step for me yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is I mean, a big too. step for me right now so i'm just thinking about this yeah that's a, the best mindset to have well thank you so yeah. much for having me man yeah seriously oh i gotta put you in the ice tub real quick yeah oh yeah we're gonna go yeah all right everyone this is the end of vlog number two the boys in the hot tub uh, and I'm gonna go in the ice tub. Log ice in the tub! Fuck. Fuck this. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, Lord! Alright, that's it! I'm done!